guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name's Jasmine, and today I'm gonna answer a really great question I got in the comment section. Zoe Walker asked, how did you prep for the DAT and what was it like? So we are gonna dive right into that. And hey, if you have questions like this one or video topic suggestions, definitely leave them in the comment section. I'd love your feedback. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, so here we go. What is the DAT like? I think the best way to give you an inside look at the DAT is to go over what happens on test day. So after weeks or months of preparing, you show up to the testing center on test day. The term testing center sounds super scary, but I promise it's not. The place that I took the test was literally in a mini mall. It wasn't scary at all. There was just a handful of other people there. It was in kind of like a tutoring center with a separate room for these computerized tests. So anyway, you show up about 30 minutes before your exam. For me, that was 7.30 in the morning. You leave your cell phone and purse in the car, just bring in your snack and your water bottle and your ID. You check in and they show you to your little cubicle where you take the test and they give you noise canceling earmuffs and a whiteboard for notes. And then the test is broken down like this. You have the 15 minute optional tutorial then you have the survey of the natural sciences, which is 90 minutes. You have 100 questions, 40 biology, 30 general chemistry, and 30 organic chemistry. Then you have the perceptual ability portion that is 60 minutes and you have 90 questions. Then you have your optional 15 minute break. The test will resume automatically once the time is up. Then you can have your drink of water, go to the bathroom, you come back and do the reading comprehension portion. That's 60 minutes, it's 50 questions. You read three passages and answer 15 to 17 questions about each passage. Then you have the quantitative reasoning section. It's 45 minutes, 40 questions, then you are done. So right when you finish the test, you walk out and you get a printout of your scores. That's something awesome about the DAT and different from the MCAT if you have any pre-med friends. They don't get their scores back for a month or so, but for the DAT, it's right there, instantaneous. You will know how you did. So the whole test takes about four and a half to five hours. So you're gonna be done at like one in the afternoon, which is great. So that's what the DAT is like. Zoe also asked, how did you prep for the DAT? So I'm gonna dive right into that too, here we go. So I studied for about seven weeks. I know people that studied for longer than that and people who studied for a little bit shorter than that. So it's important to know that everyone's different and make sure that you find a study system and schedule that works for you. I mainly used two online study materials. One of them was Chad's videos, AKA Course Saver. And the other one was DAT Bootcamp. You might hear about Ari's DAT Bootcamp. That's associated with this as well. And I'm gonna talk about both of those because I think they're really awesome materials for you to use. A subscription for Chad's videos or Course Saver costs $50 a month. I think it's so worth it. I watched all of Chad's videos the first few weeks I was studying for the DAT. He has biology, gen chem, o -chem quantitative reasoning and more. His videos are awesome. I took really good notes and I reviewed those all leading up to the exam all the time. They were great. His practice problems are super representative of what's on the actual test, so I highly, highly recommend Chad's videos. I also recommend DAT Bootcamp. You can do what I did, which was just pay the subscription and use all of the practice exams and the review material. There's so many practice exams and they're the closest thing that you'll get to the actual DAT in terms of similarity. Also, you can do Ari's DAT Bootcamp. It's a 10 week program. If you prefer having a set schedule and following a program, this is the one that I've heard the most positive things about. It is kind of spendy, so if you wanna use DAT Bootcamp, it is about $500 for a 90-day subscription. 
But again, it's worth it. It's half the price of Kaplan and it's really awesome. Everything you need is there. I highly recommend. Whether or not you use DAT Bootcamp or if you use it just for the practice exams, definitely check out Ari's study guide and his schedule because it doesn't cost anything to look at those and he has really, really good tips and suggestions for studying and other materials to use. So definitely look into that. I also went out and found quite a few free exams. The ADA has a couple practice exams that they have out, which is the 2009 exam and the 2011. Those are really great practice exams to use as you get closer to your exam day. Also, Kaplan has a couple of practice exams that you should use. And definitely look around for promo codes, talk to your pre-dental advisors, other pre-dents that you know, they're out there. So these are the materials that I used. Again, I studied for about seven weeks. I treated it like a full-time job. I was studying from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. almost every day, like six days a week. Uh, I did take a good lunch break and a couple breaks in between and I really didn't have a social life during that time. It's important to remember that you cannot afford to have FOMO right now. <laughs> the goal is to take this exam once, so you gotta give it your all, but you get out of this what you put into it, so practice, practice, practice. Good luck, you guys. Zoe, I hope this answered your question. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section. See you next week.